Good morning, YouTube. Day two. Day Equip. <laughs> Equip Expo. Come along with us. We do have a full day in store for you guys. Full with like four L's. With four L's. Two W's. <laughs> what the heck? We are up early. We're meeting a group of more or less people we've never met, right? We briefly met Tom Doby yesterday. We've met Shane, but I'm not really sure who else is going. So we're gonna go have breakfast. We're gonna go to Expo, and then there is a Trace Atkins concert. So we're gonna stop by that with the kids, and yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. It's it gonna wild. be a long day. All right, just to give you a perspective of just how big it is with how many vendors. Look at this exhibitor list two sides of it. Crazy. Talk about them, and you can describe exactly what you could do to help fix that problem if they can't come up with a solution. Okay, Joe, you've had a question all day I, I, yesterday. I kept seeing things that said uh, Kohler is now Relco or whatever this says. And then we just heard someone say Cole Blur. So Cole and rebranded or something. Yeah. So we're not sure what that's all about, but kind of makes sense with the letters now. We weren't sure how to pronounce it, but it looks like they jumbled them and rebranded. I think it says Cole. <laughs> to you being dyslexic, probably. <laughs> Still says Cole. <laughs> Bentley, Harvey, you have a hundred. Thank you. Harvey, you have a hundred. We each have one hundred dollars, correct? Yes. At the end of the day, we're gonna see who got the best stuff or the coolest things or the most. Well, we're gonna to see who made out I, better. I bet I do. I'm do gonna you... still have two fifties in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking. We need to see what kind of items you well, buy that are good stuff, for to us. bring back home. Yeah. So you're up for the challenge? Yeah, you gotta show everyone this like mint condition yeah, cool Harvey 50. 50. Harvey doesn't wanna spend his money. I don't wanna spend, I'm gonna spend $50 that I have in my wallet. Trade. Oh my gosh. Trade. Okay. <laughs> Bentley, you up for the challenge? Yeah, spend money. I'm Got it. <laughs> All right, day two. It's a little bit chilly, but it is bright. Deep plane, deep plane. It's very bright. I, <laughs> I don't know if you're like staring at the demo. The boys, ooh, there's a big ass plane. You can ask that plane to politely quiet down. Yes. All right, we're doing the same theory, the same method we're as yesterday. Up in here? Up in here? No, up no in here. down here. We're doing the same thing as yesterday. We are beelining it for the bad boys booth, the outdoor booth. Um, we're gonna try to beat any lines, and we are gonna. We're gonna do as much demoing as we can today until we can no longer feel our hands. And then we'll go warm up and then we'll come back outside. <laughs> but the boys have their $100 mission. And yeah, the doors are about to open. We're gonna get going. Hey, Joe. Yeah. I dug deep. I found two more 50s. <laughs> you can be in on the challenge. Well, I already spent 80 of this. On what? Two of those things. <laughs> oh, they're 40 bucks? Yeah. <laughs> so we definitely jumped the line. Yeah. We went around on that side. The door is just open. There's like a whole ton of people coming behind us. So we're trying to beeline and find Bat Boy. <laughs> trying to be the first ones there. Literally blown up the big dog. Look at, the big walk in. Look at that thing. He looks mean. Just like their mowers. We got bad boy for life. Look at these. It's like our 
our dream playground. All right, they got some chainsaws you can try. We got this cool semi. <laughs> Take that one for a ride. Harvey, this would be great for YouTube if you hop on this one and go. <laughs> we got the Revolt X. She's fired. But I feel like this just like blew you away. Well, yeah, I just love it because it's like 
sturdy and big and rugged like yours, but right. it's what I'm used to. Yeah. Well, I want to give the Rebel... Except from the Rebel, you have the Rebel X. Yeah. Which is going to have bigger transmissions and a much bigger engine. I think that's what I'm going to try to hop on. Yeah. All right. Like reverse seems fast. That's why I backed over here. Huh? All right, Joe wants round two. He turned the handlebars. He could only push a little bit, so he thought it was real slow. I got to turn up to like 245. <laughs> takeaway um love the new x the the revolt x i'm still still no um i plan on still buying the demo if we can when we oh, get yeah. back because yeah the 61 inch revolt was still very very impressive i think it was almost as fast as that x with yeah i don't notice it doing anything differently other than it had more comforts i guess more comforts and more like longevity I think right. like it's more rugged right. it's more like bigger pumps more like more heavy duty equipment but we have a whole day so we're oh, gonna check out some more stuff quick. for you guys so let's go all right we're gonna try Cub Cadet their pro series see what their standards all about That's neat. Oh. You can adjust the rate of the... Oh, that is 
Oh yeah. <laughs> it goes over here. It goes all the way out. <laughs> That's okay. I think I'm excited it's that I weigh more than all of you. Every time I get on like an adjustable seat, I'm like, gotta turn that up into fat mode. <laughs> and now I have a stander I can do it with. <laughs> <laughs> $100,000 in my pocket and wanted to buy every mower on the floor and he didn't give me the yesterday. So much of, yesterday so much at the indoor the, exhibit so much of the time of day when I asked a couple questions I knew more about it talk Harvey asked about a couple things and I was like yeah it's this that the other thing guy handed me a piece of paper said if you want to buy a fleet here you go walked away he was very rude and everyone else has been great but we'll skip greatly sorry sorry if you're greatly person all right Harvey recommended giving Skag a fair shake. We're gonna go check them out. See what a brand new one. See, if, uh, see what a brand new one feels like. See if the handles are a little different. Controls are a little different than docks. I think I need to try a cheetah because I like the name. <laughs> got Tiger Cat. We got the V Ride. I watched a couple of videos, Harvey says. I think I can run one.
Harpy's literally telling this gag guy that we're going all bad boy. <laughs> He's not like trying to sugarcoat anything. He's just like, yeah, we're bad boy. Wrong orange. Yeah, we don't like this color much. <laughs> this is too pale for us. Yeah. We like the dark orange. The dark orange. So wait, what's your uh, consensus? I think the, oh, that is smoother than what I expected because like yeah. the only skag I've ridden. I uh, think it's nice. I think it's smooth. I think he's got around a thousand hours on it. So I don't know if it was like that from the beginning and there's something wrong or different or generation. Or something but wrong. the one thing that I don't prefer about skag is like the V-Ride when you're adjusting the height of the deck. For it's me, the, I need two hands. You need to hang off it. I need a really like... Um, so that's a con for me. But if you go over to but else, they're all right. They're all right. All right. Joe just made a good point. We're always comparing mowers. We're trying to bring knowledge and help. But Joe, we've never been on a grandstand. So that's our next mission. I'm gonna say no, all say of the other ones, or most all of them, um, have a very similar rider stands and platform but the grandstands are different um and i haven't tried one so so let's go see what it's all about let's see if it'll win us over probably like peak horsepower like 500 horsepower like you're not i still haven't used that but yeah it kind of freaks me out there if you want to tune yeah you just want to hop on so all of our mowers are essentially the same push button start come up pass curves one two three four Okay. Yeah, it's the same as mine on everything. <laughs> now, when you when you purchase one, you get an admin code, and you can go in and change, and you can have, I think it's up to four different pass codes for four different individuals. So you lock them and then on. you can start locking stuff out, too. So if you have a specific customer who doesn't want their grass cut below three and a half, you as an admin, admin can go in and lock out three and a half so you can't go below that. And you can also lock out drives if you get all that stuff as well. Um, your deck height is right here on the display, so you can set it to whatever you want here. You're driving an iPad. And if you're getting ready to load on the trailer, you can just hold the switch, brings it back up to transport. You hold the switch down, it goes back down and you have to set it. Drive speed is down here. You're in low right now. You can put it... Yeah, company local to us just added a fleet of these in... Uh, I've never, I've never been on one yet. I did at an open house try that was a Greenworks. Greenworks. Okay. Sit down, but they didn't have a stand on available yeah. there at the time. So. Yeah. The, so, are you guys interested in, in possibly adding one or two? Or we go back and forth. It's like, can you wheelie really it? You can. You can. <laughs> It, it can really, we can't really. <laughs> Cub Cadet said they'd kick us out if we wheelied. Will you kick us out if we wheelie? Not, not my decision. <laughs> Good answer. That means go for it. That's very comfortable. Figured that the bulkhead seemed a little tall, but running it, it was wicked comfortable. Yeah. Did you? Part. 350 watts to like 5,000. Maybe that's why they're all gathering over there. Maybe all their machines just got corrupt. <laughs> I don't know. 
I like it and I don't like it at the same time. It, I think it has a long ways to go. Yeah. Like, it's not nearly as smooth as hydraulics. Yeah. And like, like that, if you just barely go... Well, Joe was saying it's hard to like turn around and run a straight yeah, line. Going from forward to backwards, it's like goofy. Yeah. That thing's fast. It's, but it's well. Actually, that's what Joe said. The front tires came off the road. <laughs> it goes down a quarter inch each time. Oh yeah. That's neat. You gonna take it for a spin, dude? Yeah. Benny on a mower. Yeah, I think fast. Yeah, careful. It is fast. Like don't like. Benley, I don't know if you heard them, but it's fast. Wheel and forward. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it shudders. It's weird. Yeah, it shudders when it's slow. Yeah, right off the line, it shudders. It was so, like... Benno, what? you almost run me over because yeah, he stopped yeah. the motor, but it didn't stop. No, the so it sooner. No like, shade, way sooner. but I can't not point out that, for me, I was on the little stander, turned a corner, Air code popped up. If you go, if it thinks time. you're going too fast no, or like up over a hill too fast, it will like shut down. So it about threw me off because it stopped. So I had to shut it off, turn it back on, and then it still had the other code that was always on it. So like I don't more want to or less, I have to worry about a software clip. Are we yeah. electric? Are we, gonna do? are we electric people? No. Well, it gets better. But then. So they shudder and they're very hard to keep straight. That's one thing. Second thing, Bentley was backing in the standard, I mean the sit down. When you throw your controls out or when you stop, it's supposed to stop, do the brakes automatically. The thing kept rolling backwards and almost hit Samantha. Granted. But, in, Granted. so, but we have now drove green green and we also drove green works. If I had to choose, 100% green works. Yeah. Can I say one thing? Yep. Granted. I, some mowers, like gas mowers with hydraulics I've ran, you throw the handles and they creep forward. Right. But they don't, like, they don't they just don't, keep like, going. They don't, like, keep going like a robot. Yeah. It's not, like, that's how you set so, the like, brake. It's not like if you take, throw the handles Take what you want from that. Keep sending it. Yeah. All right, we're on a mission for Toro and Ferris. Okay, Toro didn't work out so well. Nobody would even talk to us, so... That's my, kind of my whole point between the atmosphere of Toro and Bad Boy. Bad Boy listens. Bad Boy took us to breakfast. I stood in line at Toro. Nobody even talked to us to get on a demo, so. But we're here at Ferris. We're going to try them out, see what it's all about. We hear once you go Ferris, you don't go back. All the standards are over. just the flat grass so that's pretty cool
good. I was good on the uh, Xmark ECS control. I think are kind of like that, and a pro slide behind a. We had that metro. Yeah. Dude, I, I feel like in a, general. It should have been like a derp tracer because the metro is belt drive. But I'll tell you what. It's really not that bad. No. No. Once you get used to it, it's totally different than all the other ones. Harvey's gonna get kicked out of Ferris. What'd you do? I'm fine. He just told me to slow down a little bit, <laughs> and I did. Over the little whoop section. Over. The he took it bump. like a dirt bike. Yeah. <laughs> just move. <laughs> Dude, I am All right, Joe. What yeah. do you think of Ferris? Ferris was good. Uh, you like Ferris? Huh? Dude, they Ferris gave me was a good. Thing. Yeah, Ferris. They, great people. They gave me a tattoo. A tattoo. You're not even 18, and they gave you a tattoo. That's sweet. Harvey, what do you think of Ferris? It was cool. They ride good. They ride good, smooth, fast. Expensive. Like Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> no, but that's the atmosphere I'm talking about. That's what you want here. Not right. Across the street here. Right. Um, good people. They, good whether people it's a show or setup. not, I mean, they're here to cater to you and have you feel good. That's the whole point, right? Right. What? Harvey, getting tattooed at the expo? Some more water here. Hey, dude, I need some water too. Got the vanguard oh, wow. coming on. Joe and Harvey Bentley, hold on. We just left right. What do you think? Joe, talk about real quick the deck adjustment and what you liked about that. Um, the deck adjustment, uh, like uh, above, like say the skags we were just on, where it takes like three men and a baby to lift. The right's so smooth. It just takes a baby. It, yeah, it just takes a baby. You almost actually have to assist it down a little bit yeah. towards the end to overcome the springs, which I'd rather tap it down a little bit than fight to lift it up every time. Yeah. I can't argue, granted, I know we're trying this whole fleet of bad, bad boy. I cannot argue, and I don't know if anybody can really, that right is the stand on mower manufacturer. Like, they literally invented it. And we um, do. We're big fans of Wright. I mean, we're loving the bad boys. We love that they have so many options again, for what we need. Um, and it's price point. It really yeah. is. But, all right. Let's see what else we can find. All right. Trying the Spartan. One of the biggest things I've seen are these armrests. It's just like this little pad fixed to the handle. And it's... I don't know if I've seen that before. Kind of different, kind of neat. How long has Spartan been around? Ten years. Ten years? Ten years. Unfortunately, we just really started expanding up in the Northeast maybe about two years ago. Okay, I was going to say, yep. so, it's not like a super familiar name to me. It is not. So we do have some of our UTVs up there. We have some Intimidator Toro in the seat 
with the like it's worn out so you oh, feel yeah. like I felt like that on yeah, that more like I felt I sat out. up high and yeah. I was like teetering yeah. I thought the arm pad arm resting might be kind of cool but I felt like it was towards the front of your arm and just in the way like I didn't really like that design I don't know wasn't I like the look the look is stealthy and cool the ride the uh, I don't know if I'm that, on board okay here's a good cap on that so that has a lower price point like the bad boys but you feel it right you feel it and you see it you don't feel and see that the bad boy is cheaper than all the rest of them these yeah. you see it and feel it boom mic drop <laughs> I just got fist pumped from my braids. Yep. Alright, Harvey wants to try this walker. Right. Time to go get food. Yeah, I saw those. I don't know. A walker is just like a walk behind, but a little bit different. All right, explain it to me real quick, Joe. So on a walker, which I'm telling you this as a newbie because it's the first I've ever run one. Okay. So you have your two sticks between here that you turn with. Yeah. Yeah, look at Bentley found it. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> a, okay, fun. finish the story. <laughs> you guys throw that out where did those come from? Just, just random chicks but hanging out. They're going to be gone when we walk away. They're going to be in Bentley's pocket. <laughs> um, anyway, so you have like one speed control that's your forward, right? Okay. So you set that as like a cruise, and you can pull back on the two center sticks, and that's how you turn, like like a conventional zero turn almost, or like Harvey was trying to say. When you put a, some walk behind, when you put them in a forward gear, you brake steer, and that's okay. how you turn. Yeah. So these are more like a walk behind than what we're used to well, with like. One of the Ferris is you put it, it only has one gear. You just pull throttle forward or however much you want, and then you back off neutral, and then behind that is reverse. So all the way towards the stick would be reverse, and you right. control it. So, what do you guys think overall? Do you think it was too goofy, or do you kind of dig it? I think it's very it? something you have to learn. It's I think wired thing. If yeah. we had, like, if we had a good use for it, like if we were bagging all the time, I think it would be nice. That collection system one, would be nice. I don't think one without a collection system has much of a use other than all the different things you can put on the front. Okay. You all can right. Put different things other than that. So not a total fail. No, I don't have, have a use for Walker. Have a there. respect for Walker. Yeah. All right. For what they are, I would just run the, the forward all the way and just run it back because. If you try to run it both yeah. ways, you would yeah. and throw you right off. All right. Well, now it's time for food. I don't know if food. That whatsoever, but yeah. I don't know why Greenworks is out here all by themselves. But we'll go give them a shot so the kids can try them, so the kids can compare it to Green Mean. Yeah, we gotta compare Green Mean. Because the other one, <laughs> Mean Green, Green Mean, whatever the hell. <laughs> 
Harvey, you better eat every, you better lick your plate and enjoy your $50, $50 pizza. Sit down, which is what you or something brand new And then this looks cool. I'm digging it. Close up look. What's it cut? Oh, and okay, so this is different, right? So it's still a manual deck to set your deck. I mean, no, but on the yeah, on the main green, really, it was all uh, electronic. Cool, but, well, all but this, I kind of like that one, it right? operates electrically, but it still has some kind of like yeah, manual no, features. There goes the pool and property boy racing around on their electric go kart. I don't know, guys. I mean, if you're gonna go electric, from personal experience, I'm going green works all the way. And again, like, to each their own, at the other electric green and black place that we went to, the guy who worked with us, super cool, but I did notice it was very, like, Formal, and they had a lot of guys in suits and ties there helping and just very I don't know we're just from the country we're a little bit laid back and here they're like hey what's up go hop on what you want so I it just feels different um, we had gone to the turf depot open house and green greenworks was there with a rep and we could demo their sit down there which was awesome. Um, so we've just personally, personal experience, green works for us if we ever went that commercial electric route. Um, that's just what we're feeling right now. But again, sometimes it's just different scenarios. Other people might have had, you know, bad situations or feelings with green works or bad boys or whatever, but we're just talking from our personal experience. So take it for what you will. And um, the biggest thing is to check it out for yourself. There's so many brands here. Everything has pros and cons. I mean, it's crazy to think that there's one brand here that's better hands down than all the rest. Um, the whole point, I think, is to try to like grow and be better just like we do as individuals and as our company, we're always trying to improve. So that's what everyone's just doing here too. How do you like the green works? I only ran the little one pretty quick. A uh, little twitchy, not as twitchy as the green, the other one there. Mean green. Mean green. Um, but it is slow in reverse. I was going to try one of these. Okay. Ones. I want to try so he's going to try a big one and see if it's a little better in reverse. We'll let you know. You hit almost every bale. Yeah, with the, with the, like, on the side. <laughs> it's, what, is it narrow or are you just a bad driver? Well, yeah, probably the bad driver part. The bad driver part? The chute um, is so far out and they're <laughs> rigid. This one doesn't have shutter. Oh, like when you're going slow? Yeah. Like the other one? Other company? What do you think? A little better in reverse? Yeah, same, a little faster the reverse is faster and the but bigger slow slower than what i want and what i'm used slower to. going backwards and yeah. forward for sure yeah it's more the in our fleet it's more like the, they're more like the toro in reverse got it all right like well them. let's see what else we can get into you like them b yeah i want to try to sit on them yeah go or when one like comes back track. yeah Yep, they have a front mount hitch and they have a rear discharge. I think it'd be weird to not be able to like look and see. Oh, 
got it. Can't throw it backwards, really. Oh, I don't really know if I love that. No. We're gonna go around the three of you real quick mm -hmm. so that I can end this video. Sure. I'll get my GoPro out and we'll do some inside stuff. Um, but to end the video, we've demoed a lot today. Overall, best brand and best yeah, mower. Um, like brand so over, fan brand fan over. Fan. Why, you're it's fine, it's huge. Fine. Um, brand overall, favorite mower, whatever. Brand overall, I will say, and I'm not gonna say this because we like them and the whole breakfast thing, I'm not saying we're bribed by breakfast or anything. I will say, overall, talking to the company, running the machine, the price of the machine, the quality of the build of the machine, I'm gonna say bad boy. All right. And I'm putting that on, I'm, I'm going off of standards because I'm a stand on kind of guy. Okay. So then I would put right as my second because they are a solid machine. We've owned them, love them, never had any flaws with them. Um, and then I would quickly- Great just, reps. I'd quick, yeah, great reps. Um, they didn't take me to breakfast yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they also, where was I going with that? You were saying number smile. three, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, number three, I'd jump right to a Ferris, um, the Z2, Z3, any, really any of the stand-ons, but the Ferris stand-ons did impress me. I don't think I need all the features they have, and again, that's where that price point comes into play. Right. But Ferris seems like great company, great reps, um, and we have a local Ferris dealer, we have a local Wright dealer, we have a local Bad Boy dealer. What was your favorite machine? Favorite machine? Um, I would say the Revolt X, hands down, that's what, I would, what you're going if with. If I would leave here and it didn't matter what I was spending on money, in the sense that I'm still running a business, like not right. just like spending it stupidly. Yeah. But if I was just leaving here to buy a mower, I'd buy a uh, Revolt X. All right. Not money involved in anyway. Bentley, top favorite mower you drove like top today? Three? Top three, sure. Or what's your favorite brand? Uh, what's your favorite mower? Number one. I mean, I don't really care about money because you guys buy us. Eh. <laughs> but I like the Bad Boy standards. I haven't really done anything yet because I'm mostly we back. Okay. But from what I've done today, I like the Bad Boy and um, probably Bad Boy and. You like the Ferris, don't you? I think yeah, you I really right. like the Ferris. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right too. So my top three, I don't really know which order it would be. So it's all pretty all apples good. to apples. Pretty, yeah, but I'd say probably Bad Boy, Ferris, and Wright are my top three. All right. And then- Did you have a honor favorite mower? Honorable mention, not favorite mower. I like the electric stuff just cause- <laughs> uh, Wait, which, which electric? Greenworks. Yeah. You literally, we almost couldn't get you to leave here. You've been here yeah. for like 20 minutes. We've been minutes. here for like half an hour. Half an hour, yeah. He's literally there. just jumped from mower to mower. Also He's side note, I'm pretty sure we just overlapped filming with tractor time with Tim. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> that was kind of neat. I, oh, right. I actually showed him how to get the mower going. Right. Also showed him how to break it, but then the other guy showed <laughs> me how to fix it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harvey, top three brands, top favorite three. mower. Okay. Uh, hey, probably the same, like, I think, uh, right is probably the top and then the bad boy for the price and i think they're very like similar like yeah. they're very comparable to each other Build quality ones. therefore like i would go if i'm buying one i would go the bad boy because it's so comparable like build quality and stuff and right. it's a lot cheaper uh and then i kind of i said ferris but you know i haven't tried the gas hoppers yet so i kind of want to you want to try that? Did you mention yet? I mean, we, we didn't even put it in the mix. You were so excited to try the new Dixie Chopper. Oh, cool. yeah. I think I I like the Striker better than the new one. I don't. It it seemed like it seemed like they kind of pushed to get it here, and it's a very crude like prototype. I like how small the rear tires. Are. What I liked about our. Dixie is what he liked it's about rugged, it. It's, it's rugged, it's stout, it's yeah. wide, it's, it's more old, like that. And LG you feel like that is in, in within the new one. Yeah, the new one just seems like seems like the size, tires and everything of like a lower, like a standard B or something. Yeah. But with like big fenders, right? Yeah. I mean, favorite mower, not thinking about price, would probably be the 61 ZK. And okay. think, thinking about price, it would probably be the Revol X. Okay. Now, I do think it's worth... Worst mom thing. I, 
I love my bad boy. I mean, I'm comfortable on it. I love it. I know what the price is. Well, I know who the, the people down. are. You like the bad boy. Sit down. Oh, yeah. I, what did the Rebel? No, what was it? Yeah. Yeah, Rebel, Rebel X. and the Rebel X. Was yeah. Definitely a, love it. Obviously, a huge upgrade from the Maverick, and yeah. I was very impressed. From you on but I do think it's worth honorable mention, like Bentley had said. You guys weren't. You were excited to try it out, and you guys were impressed. The Cub Cadet Pro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Cub True. Cadet yeah, Pro. I kind of forgot about them. No, yeah, right? Like it was that. one of the first ones we did. I would and... put the Cub above a scab, Skag, honestly. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I would, too. I never thought of it. Skag? I'd put it almost right up there. With, it, with like, the like, other right. I'd put it yeah. like yeah. four. It's a lot like right. The Cub Cadet was a lot like the LG, but a little narrower. That's yeah. like, it's like top three, and they're like right right uh, there in right the mix there, right. yeah but i don't think it's at that level well all right youtube i hope you guys found this helpful um leave in the comments if you have questions we'll do our best to help from what we've experienced here today um but let us know what you think do you think we're crazy do you think those top three four brands are something that you would expect that would be our top and um as always thanks for being here we are going to work on a part two right now my phone is dying, so I'm going to grab the GoPro, and we'll see you for part two. And finally, what I did forget to mention is all of us, Harvey, Bentley, Joe, and Samantha, we want to say a sincere thank you to Joe at Bad Boy for breakfast this morning. He took a group of us out, um, DLT Lawn Care, some of his friends. It's nice to meet them, um, and it was fun to go get breakfast. So we just want to say a quick thank you to Bad Boy. Absolutely. Thank you, Joe. Yes. Thanks, thank Bad you. Boy. Thank you. It was a great morning. It's been a great day. Uh, thanks for being here. Part two will be coming soon. So until then, peace out, YouTube.